I'd give you a story recap about what the heck happened in the previous Cyber Shadow stream, but kind of don't remember all that well. There was a lot of future ninja mysticism stuff, and like all the ninjas were dead. And then, um, then there, were, there was robot. And the, the, the leader ninja. His daughter was a hologram ghost. I don't know. I got the ability to run around. We went through a ninja portal, and then it was the ninja past. No, it was the ninja dimension. We entered the ninja rift. And then... I'll just play the video game. What I'll do here. You know how we do. Yacht Club Games presents...
But really though, I have enjoyed the game so far. It's frustrated me a little bit here and there. That's to be expected. The bosses mainly. Yeah, this is still a really good minimalist title screen. I enjoy this a lot. Anyway. If you're coming into this expecting to compare it to the messenger, I learned pretty quickly last time that you kind of can't. Uh, they're both uh, a love letter to Ninja Gaiden in their own ways, sure, but Cyber Shadow is more straightforward and a lot more self-serious. In any case, it's pretty good. I witness. Alright, so I have three out of five uh, um, Capcom pinwheels. 8 out of 15 red borbs and 4 out of 10 blue borbs. And look at all those other borbs I have. So many borbs. I'm 50% through with this, apparently. Oh, be god actual damned if I have any idea what's going on. I should have primed myself. Right, we have a parry. We, we hurt stuff good. Climb on walls. Airstrike is important. Rising fire. Up plus attack the shuriken. Instead of, you know, on a separate button as it ought to be, and right bumper to run fast. Okay then. I'm all caught up. Whoa, okay. Apparently I don't go this way. Ooh, unless I do. What was that? Yeah, apparently I'm supposed to go this way. I, I swear I just did like an accidental thing, like an air dash sort of thing a second ago. I don't know what that was. Okay, you do not have to hold right bumper, you just tap it and you take off running. That's important. Man, this is good music. Alright, what was that? Right, okay. Well, by attacking while dashing you do a big zoom forward. Alright. I'm sort of glad that the game just left me to figure that out, actually. Like I did with the parry thing. I would like to hit those. There we go. Can I chain that? I may never know. Wait a minute. Alright then. Uh, as I was saying, I kind of don't really remember what the hell the game is about. Besides weird ninja stuff. So much ninja intrigue. It seems like there's some light Metroidvania stuff in the sense that there will be things that I will revisit in earlier stages once I am equipped differently. Alright, that feels pretty good. Yeah, ninja. So all the other ninjas are dead. The pants are dead. The ground is mess messy and bloody from headcrafts. Alright, Tech Pain's taking a stab at it. The partially captured essence of your ninja clan leader is in a crystal that buff robot guy stole. And also you met a flesh hell version of yourself. Uh, the flesh hell guy wasn't me, though. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. So the flesh person was actually... We met a couple of flesh hell people. The guy in the wall was, like, d Dr. Scientist. I, I don't know. Dr. Projan, right, he's the bad guy, has taken the dragon shrine to the outskirts of Mecha City. The only way there is by train, and I'll need to fight my way through the robot factory. Maybe in this time of crisis, the dragon will have answers even for me. I sort of remember what all that means. I'm just gonna roll with it for right now. Let's not worry too much about it. It's a pretty decent video game, whether you're a ninja, what has a sword, and ninja powers, and ninja shurikens and ninja robot factories. This is still a really good just map screen.
It seems like a longer game than I expected. I feel like we still have kind of a lot left. Mm. He says, well, you're referred to as Shadow. The guy in the flashbacks is Shadow. You have the locket, and the subject Alpha you fought seemed angry and confused as to why you had the locket. Man, I really should have refreshed myself on all this crap. That's a good move. Where is my freaking swag blade, though? I haven't had that in a while. Swag blade kicks ass. The whole game should be about swag blade. That is a powerful ass dash. <laughs> That's the sound lasers make. Wah, wah, wah. <clears throat> okay. Not sure if I was supposed to get away with that. Screw you. What oh, enemy swag blade? Oh, okay. Just having to do like a post stream plot analysis or some shit. Just to understand what the hell happened. I don't remember the plot being that confusing, but I guess it didn't make enough of an impression on me to remember. Damn. Alright. It's very good, a little hard to control. Alright, so just don't get spotted ever, or that thing shows up and ruins your whole life. Okay. Ruins it to death. I guess what we're learning is that the fusion of robots and ninjas never goes well. Mortal Kombat taught us that. Ninjas are great and robots are great, but maybe ninjas shouldn't be robots. Unless they are awesome. Which has happened. Is that what we're doing? There we go. You can chain that if you hit with it, okay? That guy's straight out of Probotector. I see you there. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. We'll still need to unlock a technology that kills the color orange. Um, my guess is there'll be like a tier 3 sword upgrade later in the game or something. Cannot dash wall jump, seemingly. That was some not bad ninja action. Yeah, this shit right here. Well, this being present here makes me wonder if maybe I'll be getting that pretty soon. Minigun! Ningun. <laughs> I'm glad it's Ningun instead of Minigun. I can't afford it, though. Ningun. I just got done saying, maybe high technology and ninjas shouldn't coexist, or that they seem to not get along with each other. Now here you are, just like, enjoy Ningun, like it ain't no thing. What are you? Alright. In any case, as I've been saying, also it's a pretty good video game so far. Ah, crap. Three hits to kill that thing and it doesn't make it easy. Got an upgrade. Yellow time. Found him. Pow. 
That does feel good to do, though. All right. So those have, like, an exploding core that floats out of them. Yeah, you're just in time to see me hit the spikes. Like a complete ass clown. Alright, here we go. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Also, again, this game seems to play to my strengths. Like, it's a very hard game, but it's all stuff I'm pretty used to doing, so I'm kind of enjoying the challenge of it. It doesn't mess around in terms of difficulty. It is very old-school Ninja Gaiden, but... I've been... I feel like I've been mostly rising to the challenge, and I'm getting a, a lot of enjoyment out of that. Okay. I am not quite used to how the dash works in this game yet. Like, you kind of... You have to be on the ground. You can only start a sprint when you're on the ground. Not on a wall, or... in the air, or... on a plane, or on a train... with a fox in this box. So, that means it's time to shut up about how good the game is making me feel, because... it's going to kick my ass! Constantly. That is a severe punishment for being detected. I'm just trying to do that. Uh huh? There we go. Memo to self, you can parry those things. You can ninja zoop right through stuff. Good. Noted. Alright. Yep. Go right through the beams. Enemy projectiles, you name it. I'm sword zooping. Doesn't matter. Good shit. Because I was just thinking that was the natural conclusion of that sentence. Yeah, it was... The universe really had no choice but to kill me at that moment. Hey, this ninja shit isn't so hard. Splat. Well, there's not even anything at this one anyway. Alright, let's just follow that, see where it ends up. Nice. Yeah, okay. Oh, the end of. Gotcha. Oh, Alright. What happens if I... Don't do that. But now I know. That's fucking scummy. Might have to start collecting some opinions about whether people would want me to put the chat on screen at all. I keep thinking about it. Because sometimes, once in a while, not often, but occasionally, chat's pretty good. No, you're not, that's not fair. No, I have good chat. Because there's only a few people in my chat and they're usually funny people. If you are watching my videos on YouTube, as a few people do, I'm missing out on that. Oh, really? Why do I suck all of a sudden? Really hate to use 50 fun bucks on that, but. 
I mean, also, we're in, like, the second half of the game here. This is, uh... It's already been quite a place to pick back up. After a week. There we go. Whoop! This must be Ningun. <laughs> okay! I theoretically could have been ready for that. Alright, so I'm bad at video games. Especially this one. I'm gonna call it now, we're gonna be in this room for 11 hours. Yeah, okay. We're good, we're good. Give me the Nidgun. There we go. To parry in this game, you tap forwards right as a projectile is about to hit you. And then if you attack right after that. So Nidgun just shoots completely autonomously. Not bad. That is a good floaty thing. Really good. Okay, yeah, I can influence that to float faster. Hmm. Uh, what are you? Oh, this is the train that we just read about a second ago. Gee, I wonder. I mean, imagine our train journey will go off without a hitch. We will have no train problems of any kind. No complications to our mass transit solution. Here we go. Time for a peaceful train ride. Oh, crap! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Wow, okay. I'm still supposed to just parry those, got it. There we go. I was gonna say, is that the same one? Or just... Alright. The bosses in this game have been hard, but mostly fair. They are very observe and react based. The early ones I remember praising for being, like, reasonable for a, a human reflex player to learn and react to in one attempt. The last few bosses have not worked out that well. Oh, no. Really, now? What? And what do I do there? Come on, now. That happens faster than my ninja sword can do anything about. Don't love that. There we go. Whoa, you're right. Yeah, good call. Ninja Zoop works. I forgot all about my Ninja Zoop. Okay, let them hit the thing. Okay. Look at you doing all that for me. Thank you. I can counter those all if I do a good job of it. Uh, also, if you hit them from behind, there we go. 
damn it. Okay. I just gotta not be bad at this boss. Like that, don't do that. That's exactly what I just said not to do. And now I'm totally out of SP. And hey, guess what uses SP? Well, fuck me then. Alright then, come on. So, like, it's pretty good boss design up until it tells me, you know, you're not allowed to do that thing anymore. Okay, hit them before they deploy. That makes more sense. That's more better. Nope, doesn't work. I don't know why it worked that one time. Nice! I feel like that boss had too much going on. I don't know. That's just me. Bitch. <laughs> that just has zone 3 fill. That went better than the previous boss, that's for sure. There were a couple of really hard bosses at the end of the first stream there. Skirt. The music has been good throughout. Again, if you're new to this, if you weren't here for the prior stream, this is published by Yacht Club of uh, Shovel Knight fame. Not made by the Shovel Knight dev team, but in association with Yacht Club. So, same production values have been found throughout it, I would say. Whoa, come on! I did all that to hit you with the ninja zoo. And it lived? Nice! See, that's better. A little bit of Contra pops up from here and there. That felt good. Not that. Confusing, but it's good. See, chaining those ninja zoops like that. It's a little unclear how that works at this time. And that time it did kill. Wow. Look, these video games are weird. Stop that. and buttholes. And once again, this time it doesn't die. I don't know. Damn it. Okay, at least this thing's still dead. There we go. You just gotta make absolutely sure you do not release the direction button during that chain. Because if anything interrupts the momentum of the dash, you can't get it back.
thought you could get the drop on me, eh? You mother! Okay! Then killed by accidental ninja zoo. Good. Pissing me off. Okay, be ready for the ninja zoop. I'm being sabotaged by my own moveset now. There we go. Don't go that way. Okay. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of this for the rest of the game, isn't there? This kind of shit right here. I was warned as such at the end of the last stream. Just gotta get my head in the game. You have to space out the zoops a little bit. Get out of here. <laughs> Shouldn't have gone for that. Nice. Orbiter. Alright. I don't know, man. I still miss my swag blade, though. Oh, look at that. They fan out when you... Boomst. Uh, then that thing replenishes them. All right. Ah, crap. Not bad. Where the hell's that, yo? Some. Get out of here, goo bomber. Damn it. Speaking of which, it's rollover day. Deep rock. Yeah, okay. I stopped that. I keep expecting the dash to be useful more often. I'm not used to being able to only do that from the ground. It's alright, I'll get there. This is a pretty good power-up. They're all pretty good power-ups. Even the just sword and a half power-up is a good one. Why do you call that horseshit? Okay, you can counter those grubs. Sure, let's get this over with. Alright. The rest of this stream is going to be this game just beating the shit out of me. 
proclaiming that I was decent at it in the first half. The game heard that and is mad about it. For instance... Cyber Shadow's like nobody claims to be good at Cyber Shadow. There we go, that felt good. Let's just not take the high road this time. That makes sense to me. Why don't we stay down here, where I can hit the things, and the goo bomber can't get me. The ninjas have some sort of, like, I don't remember what it's called. It's like some sort of ninja spirit haven thing. And Dr. Proton wants to harvest it for evil purposes or exploit it in some way. I appreciated that the um, first half of the game, when you killed those things. There we go. <clears throat> first time you hit him with a sword, you just knock their wings off. Now that I have the sword upgrade, I can just straight kill him. to countering a bunch of things at once is tap. Like, do the parry per the number of projectiles, and then, like, the counter thing hangs around for a second afterwards. So, like, if there are three projectiles flying at you, you would tap the button three times and then worry about shooting them back three times. Or probably even just once. As ever, my English skills are remedial because I'm streaming, but I think you get what I mean, more or less. What are you? Oh, you're an SP dropper. Cool. What the hell was... Okay, you're spewing on me. Got it. Sixteen, the essence and spirit appear to act in opposition through shared mechanisms. The former is a stillness of sorts that grounds a being in the physical world, while the latter is pure intent materialized into a physical form. Right, so essence is health, spirit is SP. With essence extracted from a carrier vessel, I can bring forth new life. The extraction process is invariably fatal for the donor subject. The new vessel is left slightly unstable by this trauma. Spirit energy can be harvested for use in high-power weapon systems. The donor survives extraction but is greatly weakened. So yeah, ninjas, future bad science shit, you know. You know the drill. We've all been there before. Ninjas. Science in outer space.
There's a word for it. They call it brunch. Nah, screw you with that. This is a really good power-up. Stop it. Oh, good enough. I just gotta get in the swing of it a little bit. I think I'm getting there. Ugh. I'll be the world's number 11 speedrunner by the end of this run. Perfect. Okay, we're good. Huh? Okay. Right, you can't turn around during that dash. That's the kind of thing that keeps getting me. You dash forwards ways. You hold forward if you want to maintain dash. End of story. Screw that thing. Probably nothing. Yeah, it's not. Such a good move. Hmm. Don't know what I thought I was doing there. I said it before, like, once in a while a game like this evokes certain colors and environments that make me flash back to Bionic Commando, and I love it every time that happens. I was so close. I can sense the shrine. If only I could breach the firewall and open the door. Uh-oh. Cyber Dive. Data Ninja. <laughs> it's pretty freaking cool. I love the retro sci-fi aesthetic. There you go, I think that's how I kill the firewall. Like with a sword. Straight out of some, like, 80s hacker movie called, like, The Webs. Okay. So you're just gonna shoot forever there, then. Alright. Okay, good. Die in the cyberspace, you die for real. I suppose, like, an 80s computer movie wouldn't be called The Webs, considering, you know, The Web wasn't a thing. Let me have my fun, damn it.
I bet. I bet. Only hit it once on the way by. There we go. Let's try. It looked like it had like <laughs> the white lights on the bottom of it for a second. It looked like googly, like Mega Man eyeballs looking at me. Good. Now I'm all out of SP as God intended. Uh oh. Still can't kill Orange, though. Oh, this door's up. Yeah, I appreciate it whenever a game like this uses very authentic NES colors. They're allowed to, you know, play with more color depth than the NES was capable of, but, like, the, the palette itself is evoking some fun memories. When injected with essence, a synthetic vessel holds its form rather stably at first. However, due to gradual dissipation, it must eventually replenish itself by seeking out more essence. I'm able to prolong my lifespan by injecting myself with essence, but at what cost? No matter, I need time. These might be the logs of the flesh monster guy who I just killed towards the end of the last stream. He was just like, hey, how's it going, ninja? I was like, murder. Which is how a ninja says hello. Her illness is progressing rapidly. I have done all I can. I am powerless. She never did approve of my research. Was she aware the synthetics cost human lives to produce? Mm hmm so this is a universe where robots are kind of inherently a bad thing. Their clan stories are fascinating. They speak of their memories living for- Ah, oh, that's why he wants the ninja space thing. They speak of their memories living forever, passing into the ethos. That's what it's called. It was called something like that. Is that the true power of essence? So this is just somebody seeking immortality? The doctors were of no help. With an essence containment field of my own design, I have stabilized her vital functions. But for how long? I must devote every waking moment to finding a cure. A cure for my daughter. No, these are the logs of... Dr. P. Oh. Close your eyes. Feel the essence flow around you. Concentrate. Ah, uh, that the shuriken is made out of my own magicalness. Manifest your will through your fingertips. Alright, I can do that. Neat. That's it. Ready your sword. Drift into solitude and oneness. She was like both his net shadow's master and apparently love interest. Gather your inner power and channel it into the blade. Most of the skills of our clan can be taught. But your innate ability is something special. I knew it from the day we met. The time of legend is nearly upon us. There is little time left. You must complete your training. Only then will you have the skill and power to heed the dragon's call. Ugh. Flashbacks suck. This is one of those cases where I'm not perfectly sure about who Shadow is, because he kind of woke up, he had like a memory of the city being exploded, but then he was just kind of woken up while all the other ninjas are in a similar like stasis state, but are largely dying and or dead. Hmm. My containment unit will not be able to hold her forever. I need something far more powerful in the near future. Unfortunately, this means sacrificing more of her clan for their essence. Ah. There's no other way. It must be done. The facility under the reactor is almost complete. Even if her body may die, her consciousness can be preserved in a synthetic vessel. Finally, a solution. You know, gradually over the course of a few years, you might not always be able to tell. But, like, my ability to enunciate, generally speaking, just... has improved. 
because of the streaming all the time. It's just maybe a little bit more aware of it. I've gotten better at large at just speaking more clearly sometimes. I don't know. I have assembled a core... Uh, yeah, assembled a core. I was wondering if that was the right yeah, core of synthetics to help with the gathering of essence. Also, I enlisted one of the ninja clan, the Apirator, to aid me in this endeavor. Yeah, the traitor ninja. Whomst I have fought at least once. The Apirator has completely abandoned his clan, and agreed to go through the process of synthetic conversion. His life will be greatly extended, much like my own. The Apirator has been transferred to a synthetic body. His dedication to my daughter still drives him. Even if he has lost all other vestiges of humanity. I have dispatched a squad of advanced synthetics. They hunt the remnants of the clan as well as civilians. The people's sacrifice will not be in vain, but more essence is required. Yeesh. Well, we found the Imperator's bedroom. A period of whatever he's called. The ethos may only be reached by those who carry the bloodline of the clan. It is, as legend has it, a place beyond time. The shrines are the key. And they unlock limitless power. The Dragon Shrine is overwhelming. Yeah, pretty much. He's the classic, I will save my daughter at absolutely any cost kind of villain. And he's... Whew, it has been costly. Cannot be accessed for more than a few milliseconds at a time. The Falcon Shrine is more amenable to exploration. With the essence I have extracted from their clan, I can open a pathway. What are you, blue entity? Oh, you're a shrine. Fed all of my essences to it? Hi! Of all who can heed my call, only you remain. Yet your time is running out. Your fading essence will not be enough to carry out your purpose. I shall intervene and lend you a tiny sliver of my power. So this is that dragon we've been hearing about. To ignite the sparks of your final strike. Alright. Your skills have been enhanced beyond their old limitations. You can now jump higher, move faster, and charge each of your skills to release stronger attacks. Neat. Given this overwhelming might, the unworthy shall fulfill the clan's ancient mission. To balance the flow of essence. To play your part, you must pay the ultimate price for your master's deliverance. You serve me in life and in death. I have a double jump. Charge Slash. A Charge Shuriken, which is a kunai. I have big fireballs. That seems more or less the same. That's also more or less the same, but I can, like, just release to do it. Neat. Now, can I kill the color orange? Is the question. charge while sprinting. Charge slash a parry orb noted. Still just level 2 katana. Double jump. Yeah. <laughs> There's that luck. I didn't even notice he could open the locket. This is a good game. Get back. 
back up there. This is the way I came in, right? Yeah. Which is probably also the way up. If Yeah, bits like this even give me a little bit of a Bionic Commando twinge in the back of my mind. I think of, like, the late game. Like, the garbage disposal area. Whatever it was. I haven't seen you in a minute. Your abilities are now beyond what we thought was your maximum potential. Hi, Tama. Hold attack and charge energy and release to unleash it. A charge strike at the security door will open it right up. You may now kill the color orange. Whoa, sorry, man. Didn't think I was gonna hit you, my bad. Since all of your skills can now be charged for some extra oomph, be sure to explore their full extent. You're a lot more powerful now. But where is my swag blade? I can indeed dash and then air jump. Good. But when can I warp back to the start? Well, it looks like I'm already going in a loop. Return to Mecha City. This is good music already. Alright, I can double jump after doing a zoop slash too. Yeah, messed that up. I knew as soon as my feet left the ground, I had messed it up. That. Charging also doesn't cost you anything. You can do that for free. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Time to go as S may indeed be for spikes. <laughs> what gives you that idea? Damn it. Whoa! Dragon's like, you have powers now. I'm like, neat, dies instantly. Kidding me with this? Nice. Oh, come on. You s Ugh, I earned that. Come on. Not what I meant to do. Get out of here. Alright, don't forget I can charge my shuriken to make them actually worth using now. They explode. The charge time is also not too long. Oh. Yeah, the dash is tricky. Like, you actually have to be kind of... 
careful about how you use it. Thankfully, careful is my middle name. That's a lie. It's Philip. That's also a lie. It's not really Philip. I didn't need this thing, I shouldn't have paid for it. Come on now! Why is it so arbitrary whether things will die from this dash zoop? This is your careful danger pants. Yep, that's me. It's a Nedroid comic where Reginald was like, Oh yeah, my last name is Danger. But then my middle name is Safety, so it kind of balances out. I think it, that was the other way around, but still. Bad times are being had around here. I'm, I'm getting beaten up by the video game a little bit. There we go, that ought to take care of it. That's a pretty good effect. Yeah, yeah, let's go. These guys can crud all the way off. Come and stop doing the damn zoop! I kind of really hate, actually, how being in the middle of the dash changes you into the zoop. Like, there need to be more buttons used in this game. I always hate the same button doing 12 different functions. You think it's okay to swing the sword, and then you swing the sword, and you go, Wee! and you die. I hate that shit. Stop it. Okay, I will just manipulate time. I will use my actual, like, human power to control the flow of time so I can do button inputs at three times regular human speed. <laughs> okay, Price. Yeah, you made it in time for all the good stuff. It's a good move, but it sabotages me about as much as it helps me. There we go. I just need to... I hate them the most. The way they just swoop in from angles that you literally can't, like, do anything with. Alright, there we go. That shit right there. What was I expected to do about that? Box. I hate you, Box. Whew. 
Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's the one. Box put ruined my future. Now this ass clown. One of them always goes high. That one keeps throwing me. There we go. That's what I was trying to do before. Okay, here we go. such thing as dash wall jump. Good enough. Okay, that has a limited reach, apparently. There we go, that felt good. Oh, I was trying to get under that. Okay, here we go. Don't let myself get so flustered. Just gotta not do it exactly that freaking thing. God damn it. Oh, wow, the checkpoint is still all the way back here. Oh my god, I'm starting to really hate the fucking dash soup. And then the lantern gets in the way. All right. Thank you. Also, thank you, SP Drone. Actually, now glad I paid for that thing. Basically, I think I need to work on not dashing as often. I think perhaps I'm being too dash happy. Alright. Right there? Yes. little bit of, like, intentional impact lag when you... when you do the counter. Alright, that was nice. Uh-huh. Having some spicy gamer moments here, but this is another one of those cases where I kind of don't hate the game for it. Like it's it's kind of part of the design book. I'm just not even going to contend with you when you say that. Splat. The exploding crew and I are very satisfying. Okay. Uh huh. I uh, tapped the wrong direction. There we go. First try. I have 26 fun bucks after all that. Need to comment on that? I think it speaks for itself. Can I actually damage these things? Okay, yeah, I can just plain kill them. Good enough. 
See, that was the case where, like, swatting back the first parry was preventing me from doing the other parry. Bye. Yep. Fuck. God damn. Okay. I still haven't also found a warp point back to earlier. So I can't go back and destroy the other orange things. Bye. Yep. God damn it all. I am steadily gaining... <laughs> gaining points just from spawning next to those, though. Eventually, I'll be able to afford Babby mode. What if I just projectile this clown? I didn't think of that. It's not like you have to hit him with anything specific, you just gotta hit him while his shield isn't there. And the sexy way to do it is to counter his projectiles, but... Maybe not always the smart way. It's such a good move when you do it right, it's just a shame it goes off accidentally so often. In a way that is absolutely never my fault. What? Okay. Son of a... Okay. Somebody say meow? Hang on a sec. I guess not. I just hear phantom meows at all times, don't mind me. Charge parry though? Not bad. They even seek things afterwards, nice. Not bad. What? Are, are we- no, we're just talking to the motorcycle? My ability to function is currently greatly impaired, Damn it. But it is nice to see a living person. If you wish to utilize my designated purpose, please lift the software inhibitor at the terminal underground. Alright. Shit. Future ninja motorcycle scene coming up. Stay tuned. <laughs> Tama goes cool bike future. <laughs> Exo is the result of a nearly complete one-to-one -one essence transfer from a living human to a machine host. Finally a successful experiment. Will this allow me to save my daughter? Nah. Exo has an emergency reserve for short bursts of self-powered locomotion, but this can lead to sudden catastrophic ego depletion. By using a disposable rider, those risks are mitigated. Wait, hold on. <laughs> the, the bike is the... Gotcha. You, you did say all synthetic things were made out of, like, human essence. So even the bike used to be a dude. Now it's a dude bike. To battle essence deprivation, Exo only uses power for idle functions. Otherwise, the unit is powered by the rider, who works as a living battery. As a result, Exo's essence remains in equilibrium. A purator has volunteered to be the test rider. There was an incident with Exo. It stopped taking orders from a purator. I have installed a software inhibitor just in case. Exo has become defiant and is refusing to cooperate. I have stored it away from the time being. <laughs> this intelligent motorcycle thing was a terrible idea. It told me to, quote, drive your damn self. <laughs> yeah, if you're just tuning in, I mean, I've only been into the cyberspace a few times, but presumably this is where the, the cyber and the ninja comes from, the cyber shadow, because of this data ninja. See you down there, spike pixels. Oh no, wrong direction. You, th you think you would hold up to do the up attack? Not so.
<laughs> cool. Actual first try. Obviously, I need a first try emote. You know what? I need I need like a new design for a Zior persona. I need a new robot Zior design, and I need to make a whole bunch of emotes using him. Then I'll be popular. Software inhibitor deactivated. Wahoo! Now I'm free to move. You fool! You fell right into my trap. Prepare to die. Just kidding. Sorry, my banter's rusty. It's been forever since I talked to someone. <laughs> that was at the messenger moment right there. Anyway, hop on if you want to ride. Thomas doing the Elden Rings. Oh, I actually just. Oh, what? Yes, the best. I love this. This is a good video again. In spite of my grumbles about the ninja zoop attack and the problems it's given me, this has been a good video again. Okay, so it fires both when you press and release the button. I was wondering, I thought I was getting more shoots per button press. And also it's chargeable. Okay, yep, reacted that to that a little slow. Obviously this is no time to be reading chat. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, come on! <laughs> Heroically breathed extra poison at a fearsome night on horseback. And then he fell off a cliff. Outstanding. Alright. This time, I won't suck. It'll be great. Yeah. Ow. Not self shoot the pink things. I don't know why they look like something indestructible to my subconscious mind. Another triumph for the soundtrack too, by the way. It's all been above reproach. Later, nerd. We found out last time that the soundtrack was done by some obscure person who has only previously worked on um, on a bunch of like itch.io jam games. So uh, I think this would be their first like major published soundtrack work. In which case, damn. Uh-oh, looks like we're being pursued. Time to step on it. Full-powered engines, let's go! I'm channeling all of my ass power directly into the engines. Arr. Can I ride the missile? <laughs> Wait, what? Thanks, bike friend. You alright back there? Like that's as high as I'm going. Well, that was pretty cool. I mean, how could it be? Like a NES-styled ninja game. 
without an awesome future cyberbike scene. Like a man next intro stage area. Intro. This is another great sound. He definitely cheats with the sound fonts a little bit here and there, you know what I mean? Like, it has not all been NES styled. I'm not mad about it. That time I remember just in the nick of time that I was definitely about to do a zoop. Not this time. Ow. Who sprung it? Oh, I see. Here we go. See you. So that's interesting. They have like a lifespan that ticks down and then, depending on how soon you hit them, you get more ghost shurikens out of them. Whoa! Boy, I bet speed runs of this are harrowing as hell. There is so little margin for error if you're gonna try any of the fancy tricks. Hey, you, there you are. How you doing, man? Without a rider to, pair, to power me, I can't go very far. Good thing you found me, huh? Please enter. Wait, enter? Uh, what? Ah, uh, now I'm the motorcycle robot? Come on, man! How awesome can a video game be? Come on. Like, I'm completely forgetting about how frustrated I was with the, with the zoop a minute ago. Like, who cares about that? I am now a transforming... I am now a ninja inside a transforming motorcycle robot. Holy shit. I need to go back in time and tell myself that this game's going to exist. That will give me hope for the future. Also, he kicks a little bit of ass. I like how the bike is, like, neither of us has asked any questions. The bike's just kind of hanging around there because he wouldn't answer the other ninja guy. And then, like, you know, a ninja shows up. The bike guy is just like, hey, a ninja, neat. Here we fucking go, vroom. Like, no questions asked. Obviously, we were both here to kick ass. Born to kick ass, so we simply do. The path continues down. Don't worry, the fall won't even scratch my paint. Let's go! Unless you're scared. I ain't scared. The huge battleship is approaching. Let's attack aggressively. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's a Contra 3 joke. Oof. That's uh, that's uh, that's my new like battle cry. That's my roar into the face of the enemy. Let's attack aggressively. Music is so freaking good. <laughs> like, seriously, frustrations all melting away. This game is fucking good. And even then, I was saying like the frustrations even still 
weren't really harming my opinion of the game that much. That's a little bit of what you sign up for in these games, you know? And like so many other games of its ilk, so, so many other neo-retro games, you know, the messenger, Shovel Knight at all. Old school difficulty is there, but it doesn't bother with the live system, so it's good. Awesome. That was a very Mega Man X, ZX style boss. That was cool. Like, it resets you pretty quickly when you die, at least. Like, sometimes the checkpoint was a little while ago, but even so, you're right back into the action, you know what I mean? It doesn't waste time showing a cutscene of your character, like, stop, like, <laughs> fast forward footage of him decomposing in the desert sun, you know what I mean? So, about my rider-powered spirit drive, extended use may cause the rider permanent damage. I sense tell me you can't take much more strain. Just hold on a little longer, okay? Stupid forbidden technology that shouldn't exist. What do you mean I can't spend the entire le rest of my life inside the transforming motorcycle robot man? My previous rider, the Apirator, was awfully devoted to the Master. But he went too far down whatever dark path he was on. Judging by the state of things, he's still on his blind crusade. Well, if he's still alive, he deserves a big smack on the head. I smacked him around a little bit, but I smacked him on the ass, and he was really mad about it. He was like, the ass, come on, man! Victory without honor, I was like, I'm a ninja, man. You're, you're thinking of, like, samurai, like, we don't... Ninja are more like the stab you in the back of the head type. We don't do the honor thing that much. But anyway. Looks like the path forward is clear. We can take it easy from here on out. That means I'm absolutely about to die, Give him my health. Okay. We're good. Alright, good. We can take it easy from now on. The entire rest of the game is just going to me taking a leisurely stroll. Oh no! Ha! My upgrades are going to waste if I can defeat the both of you without even fighting. It's a shame you couldn't see things our way, Exo. You're a fool, Apirator. You're blinded by your own ambition. All I can see is that you're just plain wrong. Our master's wishes were clear, but you spurned her wisdom. If you begged to rejoin the clan, she might have even forgiven you, but I sure won't. No, our master lives, I swear it! She's alive and conscious, it was all worth it! Your new rider has simply deceived you and the master. Shadow, I will end your pathetic existence. And with it, our master's fixation. Ha! After all this carnage, you've still got the nerve to tell lies like that. If the Master were alive, she'd be stopping you herself. Come on, Shadow, it's time for a good bashing! Silence! Speak no more! Farewell. Oof. Oh. Robot. Robot friend, no. Ow. Well, that's the game, everyone. See you next time. Isn't this the beginning of, uh, Aria of Sorrow now? This is rare. It's been ages since a wanderer has eluded us. Sly little fox you are, just as delicate too. You're here to seek power, are you not? <laughs> oh boy. They poured all the anime into this one character so it wouldn't infect the other ones too much. Well, you won't find it without getting through me, which means it's time for a good bashing. Prepare to die! Sorry, I'm just messing with you. It's a cool sword, though. It's been a while since I've had a good fight. That was just the first thing that came to mind. This one is different. Its purpose is clear. I can feel it. You could only have found us by sensing the flow of essence. You must have heard the dragon. What the... Fast as he may be, he wouldn't last a single day among our ranks. Why would you take in such a weakling? I stand ready to serve you and the dragon and complete the circle. He goes with us, that is an order. His training will begin immediately. Geo, you know what to do. Yeah, does this mean I don't have to map the floors anymore, finally?
Flashbacks. Maria! <clears throat> oh no. Exo. Robot motorcycle friend. No. He was too beautiful for this world. We didn't deserve him. Was left the ninja recharging station right here where I could step on. You deserve it. Oh, no, I'm still quite harmed, actually. I need to turn that on, I guess? Alright, thanks. Weren't you from, like, level one? Yeah. Oh. That. More of the purple flesh shit. Oh. Can't counter that. I stood ready to parry. Was not to be. Ow. Oh, okay. This is like that part of friggin' Mugman 4 minus Trinity, you know, I see. Or that one part from frickin' Iconoclasts. Don't misread my turn, Iconoclast is amazing. But anyway. Of these things as I want now. Actually, they looked an awful lot like my guy, didn't they? Whatever he was called. Exploding shurikens that cost power to do. Yeah, still though, we got a power to kill Orange and we still haven't found a way to go back. Oh! <laughs> now we can kill the floor here? I didn't know that. No, I do. Good music. A lot of, uh, lot of retro wave flavor in this one. That doo-doo-doo, doo-doo-doo, yeah, that, that's good. I ain't mad about it. I mentioned I'm kind of enjoying the game. It's pretty good. I feel like I brought that up once or twice. Have I been here before? I don't think so. So much good music in this game. Salvager. I believe that achievement means I've gotten all the gizmos at least once. Totally should be something up there, come on. Oh, I 
that went too far. Didn't look up. I don't know what Salvager does. Oh. Okay, that could have gone worse. You know another nice thing the messenger did? All with, like the optional challenge rooms that had things in them were marked as such before you went into them. Is that what that does? It eats enemy projectiles and turns them into SP. Neat. That's pretty freaking good. Alright, I'm gonna go back and see what's up ways, I guess. this thing. This is the, one of the best upgrades. There we go, yeah. Little bit of, uh, Super Mario Brothers going on there? You're the nin- no, you're the charge thing. Yeah, I guess we'll just stick with this. Another case where I feel like the reward for fighting this should have been a little more. It's okay. Safe. Damn it. Chuck. Okay. I hate them so much. Damn it. All right, at least I didn't get the yo yo of death this time. God. Shoki. See, Swagblade wouldn't put up with this shit. I miss you, Swagblade. If you weren't here for the last episode, fart. I got an upgrade called Swagblade, which is like a yo-yo of death that attaches to you. And then it swings around you, and you can physics it by jumping... And you can hit it with your sword to knock it towards things and kill them that way. It was wonderful. It felt like more of the game should have been designed around Swagblade. It was that good. Okay, maybe I found some, quote, better upgrades. But they're not Swagblade, dammit. See that cool thing I did on purpose? Neat. Oh. Ah. I actually instinctively hit select to try to look for a map. It's not a thing. Another 
This one has an unexpected tone to it that I'm enjoying. Music, that is. I'm getting back into the swing of it a little bit. I feel pretty good about how all that went. That was pretty. Charge blaster, sure. Dr. Progen has become an unstoppable monster. Our clan has been decimated. Each person he captures adds to his power. Our strongest, the elemental stage is a surprise attack. I was freed. But it was all for nothing. Dr. Progen's feast continued, I saw it all. Right, so we're supposed to have, what, four ele elementals and a grandmaster, but I think one of the elementals was missing. Wow. Uh-oh. Anyway, I get this hovering charge shooting now. Charges by itself, all I gotta do is shoot. enough. We've heard this tune before. I recognize... Ow. This one. Oh, we look at that. Don't like that. Really enjoy those exploding kunai. Ow. No. Yep. Ugh. Okay. Good enough. Screw that. You can't shock me the instant, like the frame I land on the platform. Come on now. Alright. They're not very forgiving. Okay. The zappy doesn't look like it has a very long duration, but it kind of does. Whoa. Yeah, I remember you. Alright. <laughs> Okay. Uh. Oh. I was kicking ass, but not quite enough ass. Kick more ass. What if I... Looks like I have to. I was gonna say, what if I just didn't kill this? Damn it! Fuck! Ah! Oh. Hard video game. Ninja. Ninja. 
Ninja. Ninja. Can't stop kicking ass. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. So that does pierce terrain, noted. Ow. Oh my god. Mm, Clavis. That is just fucking mean. That is too much. Okay. I think the flesh wall stop stopped following me a while ago. Okay. It wasn't very clear. I thought I was supposed to be running that entire time. Oh! That's just dumb. Okay. Hold on. Did I just accidentally do a different thing with the Folly Downy? Yes, okay. That's not a very good way to figure that out, but... Turns out, if you charge it, you can like... No, you could do that even without charging it. Huh. Did not know you could Meteor Slam with your Folly Downy move. T.I.L. Neat. Again, I kind of like that the game doesn't tutorialize these things and just leaves you to organically discover them. There's a certain satisfaction from having learned these techniques yourself. Through ninja training. Stop that, stop it, stop it. Okay, we're good. Yeah, so how far does that go? Okay, it stopped there. Alright. Yeah, I badly overestimated the urgency of this sequence. Okay, so, like, even the knockback projectile that you get has a size that depends on how powerful the initial attack was. Neat. Ow. Stop that now. Okay, I see what you're doing there. All right. Hmm. Let's blow up. Yeah. There we go. Oh, how come that didn't change? Fine. Maybe. It is up to fine. Okay. 
Okay. It is weird, I was just thinking of that like the other day myself as well. What is going on with that hive mind activity? Why that of all things? I'm not even going to name it on stream with the reference. If you don't know, you're better off. Been here before. My path has forked entirely now. Oh, but here's a warp thing. Uh, make a city dot for react. Where in the sweaty hell was I a second ago then? We're getting pretty close to the end of the game in any case. Like I, have I been here? Hi. Boy, am I happy to see you. I thought we lost you for a second. And hey, look at you, all souped up now. Wouldn't want to be on your bad side. Speaking of which, I saw the Imperator heading toward Mecha Island. I bet that's where Dr. Progen is. Let's take the fight to them, are you ready? Nah. Let me go the other way. Good talk, though. Ninja soup. It's the best kind of soup. Okay. You can just keep doing that forever, then. Is there anything I can do about them? I can... Not really. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is probably a challenge room of some description. And these blue guys are probably how I farm my ASP. Yes, okay. Why can't I crouch though? This ninja cannot crouch. This ninja cannot crouch. so good whenever you get a counter during all that nonsense, but then it disrupts everything else you were doing and you fall down. It always bothered me when people, like, would knock on the Zelda series for not having jump. Like, you can't even jump and zo like, why would you? Why would you? Like, jump doesn't need to be a construct in this universe, like... God damn it. Like, Mario can't drive, like, what about it? Like... If you want a driving Mario, you're playing a different game. Scruntus. Better. Okay. I was overcomplicating that. There we go. First try. Good. Okay, now we go up. Very polite of them to put a save point right there.
Ooh. Safe. Okay. So, I am wondering if this is a, uh, like a Blaster Master Zero Two sort of situation, or any of the other Blaster Masters, apparently, where I could barge ahead and probably get, like, a bad ending, and then maybe find other stuff and get a good ending? I do not know. Maybe I should just go ahead for right now. What you guys think? Anybody think anything about that? I'm gonna have a sip. I don't have a sip. I'm gonna get up and get a sip. I'll be right back. Sip. Hang on. Maybe it's just flat. I need to make a sheets run after the stream, I think. Get some provisions. Maybe a shits burger. Uh, you know what? Just because it's been bothering me since the first time I passed by it, like starting out in this damn video game. I do think I want to go back. Kill the color orange wherever I find it. Welcome to how the game started. Really neat friggin... Sonic CD, Bad Future background. Good music. Have, have I been in this room in particular? Ow. Don't do that. I guess I have been here. Yeah, there was a life thing here, probably. Didn't recognize. It's too bad there are no pickups which recharge your... ...transient power-up. that background a lot. The lightning and everything. I, mean, I should maybe get the wallpaper engine on Steam. I think I know a couple of people who use that. You can make... Well, first of all, lots of desktop wallpapers, and then I think you can have, like, animated ones and shit, if you want. Nice stationary sentinel enemy nerd. Yeah, there'll even be maybe some places I can only reach for double jump, too. Oh, rip up. Good, good. I know some of the towers, the turrets, like, fail to open, and I have not observed if that is a scripted thing per turret or if that has just a chance of happening.
that right there. They're just kind of stuck, half opened. If I were smart, I'd just plain leave them alone. This is the third time I've been here. I came back here earlier thinking I already had an upgrade that could let me kill the orange things, but... weren't so. I'm finally learning. I'm learning... I'm training myself to release the direction button if I want to do a regular slash while I'm dash jumping. It's just a lot to get used to, is all. Ah, blow up. This will be a lot easier. Wonder if they give you like a new game plus. Yeah, things like this. Almost sure there was a door of that color somewhere. And here it is. So what's what's the secrets? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh dear. Remember to breathe while playing video game. <gasps> ah, no problem. Huh, sure, let's do that twice. Good GLaDOS. <laughs> Come on! Undone by like a pixel. I mean, I'm reasonably happy about how that well as a, how well that went as a first attempt. But come on, I had it. Kill. Hang on, itchy. Yeah. 
There we go. Damn it. <laughs> Steam of all things. Sure, give me an orbit. Uh, okay, good place to have an orbiter then. Remember that guy from Zelda 1. Nice. Pretty sure I've been here. Yep. Alright, yeah, so probably no, no, like, major plot significance going on in these new hidden things, maybe. Just more up on my grades. But then sometimes the two are one and the same. I'm gonna go on a little bit more. If nothing else, I'm enjoying the rampage. Yep, here's Sparkman stage. Again, I'm like gradually training myself how to effectively use the zoop da zoop, zoop dash slash how to zoop good as ninja. Oh, I replaced my thing. Well, maybe I can get a swag blade while I'm around. Oh. I don't, off the top of my head, remember seeing much else in the way of orange things that I couldn't destroy. It must have been something, but only level one really jumps out in my mind. You hit those guys in the back, they explode. Yeah. <laughs> Being grazed by a giant death laser is just how ninjas get haircuts. This is perfectly normal. The ninja word for laser is the same word they use for ordinary or boring. Not swag blade. Yeah, I think once I breeze through this stage, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the end. If that's indeed even what that was. I mean, I'm guessing so. Looked like there was, like, one other area and then the end, question mark. What's going on with this? Hmm. Oh, that. Push button. Hmm. Hmm. Do have pretty good stats at this point. Oh. Get out of here. Still just blade extends, no no swag blade. Surely I've been here. Yep, I remember this one. Gotta do the elevator again. So anyway, how's it going? Everybody doing this fine night time period. 
hope this day finds you well. Ending in Y. Those are the best ones. Awesome. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> really, I am surprised at, like, what a rampage this has been coming back to the early game with all the up and the grades. It's going pretty well for me. things like they're eating the blocks they're like nom 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 latest tent dead guy dick pin says kind of surprised i was able to start streaming again but it's a good thing yeah that game is whack but all right, well, obviously I have to check out whatever's going on here. He's been streaming, what, uh, Illusion of Gaia. And because this is Zero TV, I'm just going to say, hey, it's from the makers of ActRaiser. Neat, huh? Uh, it's deranged. <laughs> I was just here a little bit ago. I was here earlier. Some some other level passed through here. So what do I do about that? Again, I I want a map. Where's the where's the map? Hmm. Says, yeah, Illusion of Guy is one of those things I don't think I ever would have gotten into if I hadn't gotten into it as a- if I didn't happen to pick it up as a kid, yeah. So, I have definitely been right here before, so, hmm, I'm a little wonder what I'm missing, if anything. That was pretty. Oh, yeah, okay, right back here is not where I want to be. Uh, okay, mistakes have been made. Let's get out of here. I think I... Yeah, I'm curious about what's going on with this one-way passage back here, but not... Quite that curious. Yeah, this is going way too far out of the way. Whoosh! I don't know, I'm still kind of having fun, though. <laughs> yeah, swag blade! Maybe it will all be worth it if I can keep my swag blade. Out of that rate. I'm actually, I'm just going to go back to the warp thingy while I have my swag blade. Let's 
see if I can bring this later in the game with me. God, that's good. Hmm. All right, let's get out of here. Then the last respect play. Fucking hell. Whatever. I'm done here. Get the fuck out of my face. Green gas hazards. I don't know what your secret is. But I spent enough time looking. Alright, no, actually. We, yeah, we have per chapter completion percentages here. Yeesh. Chapter 7 is Error. That was, I think, I think like a story thing happened there. Let's just go ahead, I think. I guess we'll see if I get a bad ending for my um, thorough exploration or not. If I do, then maybe I'll make one more stream out of it. We'll have to see. Oh, this is good. Ever notice every once in a while there's just like a tiny little bit of lag, like when the music starts looping? Look at that. This... What, whatever it was called, salvager thing, seemed like the only thing that can destroy those. So don't get hit by other stuff. Oh, I see, it like disables the charge on them, then you can kill them. This was dumb. This was a bad move. This was mistakes. Ow. Alright, I'll just die then. Let's not suck this time. Stupid instinct to explore every space, even if it's obviously a bad one. I hate those green things. I hate them. Itchy. There we go. We're good. Yep. Beautiful. Whoa. Get out of I do have a lot of flavor crystals. Hmm. Get out of here with that. Why? What was that? And how come nothing in this game ever drops health? Can't destroy those. Oh, 
good. Mm, essence from dead things. Stop that. Checkpoints are getting a bit sparse this late in the game, aren't they? is not infallible. Just plain can't destroy those from behind. say. God, it's good. Don't need this. What? Good enough. Love that base in this tune. Good, good. Oh, sure. Yeah, let's fight this guy again. Why not? Oh, thank Cal for my orbiting whatnot. That's what it's called, the orbiting whatnot. Son of a damn! All right. Video mm. game. Does six points of health. Get out of my damn way. I, yeah, uh, I feel like maybe hey, I destroyed that thing without the charge sucker. I feel like there should be more checkpoints. Just fucking kill me already. Alright. I hate them with such passion. Yeah, now what? Okay.
That's more of a way out than a way over. There we go. I only just parsed the Watama type is orbiting. And I'm like, I hate it. Bark it. Die. I'm going to kill you so much. you from doing any parry tactics though. Can't parry delicious projectiles. Charge blaster, get out of here with that. Who needs that? Okay. I think those green zoopy robots are friggin' my least favorite enemy in this goddamn game. That felt good. Sure. Why not? Maybe this is a good place for a charge blaster. I hate them! I hate them so much! I swear to actual Christ. I will find the conceiver of the green flying robot. I will bite. I will bite the penis. Not really. I will not do that. Don't hold me to that. Why is a zoop right then? Of all possible times. I hate them. I just had a vine sauce moment there, is all. You know how my brain usually says if, you know, if silence filled with fart sound, laugh at own fart sound, repeat. The vine sauce version of that's penises. If in doubt, make dick choke. And I was watching a pre-recorded stream that had Vinny and Joel in it earlier, so everything's a dick, dick joke now. Vinny was all like, hey Joel, did you know penises? Joel's like, ha ha! It's true. Really? What is it? Alright. Oh! What the? Fuck.
Couldn't be simpler. Alright. Tracking the elementals is easy enough with their huge amounts of essence, but we have to find a way to reach Mecha Island to set them free. Not much on our way besides a few corrupt machines and some monsters, no biggie. Here's another one of these things. Entry from only one direct- you- I'm all the way back here, aren't I? Fucking hell! See, now we're getting into the kind of difficulty I don't like, which is, like, highly artificial through very sparse checkpoints. Specifically, who set that thing to swoop in at exactly that fucking moment that that goddamn projectile is going to hit you? I swear. I hate this game. This game sucks. It's fired. Why? Fuck. Ow. My anatomy. Parts of my body are rebelling against me now. I age. Ugh. Video games have killed me. I hope you like me as I was. <sighs> okay. This is definitely <laughs> looking like another stream. At this rate. It's getting kind of late. We're in my favorite part of the stream. Chad has quieted down because it's too late, and reasonable people have gotten tired. Which just leaves me alone with my grunts and assorted madness. Then later, at some point, you know I'm gonna look at my own VODs and I'm gonna be like, uh, this asshole. You know what? I'm happy with that death. That was a good death. Mid-air counterattack. Fall into explosion. End of ninja. Took a painful dive. To get the sp. I mean, yeah, the sp. I seem to keep forgetting that I have a charge blaster behind me. That is probably a thing I should not do. this. Are you kidding me with this? There we go. Speaking of charge blaster, it'd be nice if it charged better. What the hell is that? There we go. That's better. Illusion of Gaia does have some of those elements where it's dark in a way where, where it's like, is whoever wrote this okay? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, is this a story that needed to be told? And like, what, what actually is going on here? 
That felt fucking good. See, sometimes, like, you get flustered, you try to rush through parts of this game, and it beats you up even worse. Once in a while, you pull it off, and you feel real special. Ah, huh, that did work. That's interesting. I, my ninja sword, was not able to destroy those from behind at all. Even if it clearly had the reach. I guess the shoot is different. Shoot can destroy these as well. I've been basically badly undervaluing my hovering shooter. Kramis. And yet still I just missed my swag blade. Mistakes were made. Boat. I'm on a boat. Yeah. Alright, enough of that. I don't think I'm gonna like the boat. The guy zooming in in the background, very Shinobi 3. Yeah, boat music seems nice. There we go. Let's screw you with the rolling napalm. Like, get out of here. It's getting too late for all this ninja shit. Ugh. <sighs> yeah, I see. This honestly is right around the part where I'm thinking, like, call it a rep, come back later. I'm, I'm gonna call it right there. If I stop right now, then I'm going to have to start with this next time, and that doesn't sound fun either. I'll give it one more shot. Get the... Screw this, I've had enough of Cyber Shadow for one day. I will come back to it next time and I will endure and I will swear. And we'll all be ninjas. No, actually only I will be ninja. There's probably enough content left in the game to get a decent amount of extra time out of it. I guess for the next episode, if I have to shift gears to something else, I will. But I think that's a lot of Cyber Shadow for now. It reached a point where it was starting to become just the annoying kind of frustrating, and I said, you know what? Why don't we nip that in the bud before it starts souring my mood? And we'll leave it on a note where I'm still feeling okay about the game, even though it beat me up a little bit. So, good game. Still some very hard content to come. Uh, that's all I got for you. Um... Tomorrow, we, hmm, maybe illegal use of Flashback Friday, but I don't really care. It's a good day to stream some uh, Dead Cells because Kansas is going to be doing its own stream, so we wouldn't be there anyway. Um, I got some 
I got the DLC. There's a new update that just dropped. There'll be some new content to check out in Dead Cells, so I'm going to do some of that tomorrow. So, that's the plan. Thanks for watching some Cyber Shadow. Contrary to all appearances, I am still enjoying the game rather a lot. It's good. It's just, you gotta maybe take it in doses. Alright, you get the idea. Thanks again. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Large robot. End stream.